G'day guys, what we're doing today, we're revisiting something that I did a long time ago. In fact, it was my very, very first video. And we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it with a twist though. We've got some uh, new techniques that we've learnt over the last year or so. And uh, we're gonna put them to use. The very first video I did was all about astrophotography with the iPhone 11 Pro. We're not doing it with that one today. We're doing it with, uh, well, let's give this one a go. The Google Pixel 4a 5G. This thing will do a pretty good job. We're also gonna throw in a couple little uh, twists, if you like, of things that we've learnt this year. Things like double exposures, astrophotography, forward subjects. And you go, well, Shane, that's nothing like your first video. But this is. The posty bike's back. We're gonna photograph it. Let's get into it. So the posty bike is back and we're going to do it. There's a few things that we want to consider when we're taking this sort of a photo and this is what we're going to do tonight. So there's a few things that we're going to need to keep in mind. One, where you are in the world and get away from the light pollution. I'm not going to harp on about that. I've done lots of videos about that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look up there or there, wherever it is, I'd never remember. Two, you want to know about the moon. And the moon rises just over there and it's going to rise tonight at about nine o'clock. So the sun goes down here at about 6, 6.30. So we've got a couple of hours here to do the photo that we want to do. And now we need to work out where the Milky Way is. Well, before about that, well, what about the weather? And the weather, it's clear as clear. We're gonna get a cracker photo tonight. The next thing is the Milky Way and where it's gonna rise. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Hold on. Now the app that we're going to use for this to find out where the Milky Way will be is Photo Pills. Photo Pills is available on iOS and on Android. I'll link it down the bottom in the description there. It's about 15 bucks. I've used it forever and ever and ever. It's a bloody good app for planning this sort of photo. It uses the camera in the phone as well as AI and it works out where the Milky Way will be. What we need to do is go into the Photo Pills, go into Night AR, and we're going to look up the top left hand corner there and you can see right now it's 3.23 p.m. So as I look at the motorcycle now, you can see the Milky Way just isn't in place. If I turn this now, up the top left hand corner, it says there 7.56, so about eight o'clock tonight, I'll be able to get this photo. If I put the camera roughly here, you can see the Milky Way will be rising up behind the motorcycle, and we'll get the motorcycle in the foreground, Milky Way in the background. That's pretty much all we need to set up now. The motorcycle's in the spot that it needs to be in. The Milky Way is going to rise up there behind it, just like we saw. The phone is sitting down there on a Ulanzi tripod and a Ulanzi phone holder, that's the ST23. My favorite setup by far for this type of photo. It's sweet, it's bendy, it's short. It's perfect for this sort of photo. And uh, well, that's about it guys, we just gotta wait. This is the Posty bike, if you haven't seen it in the first video. This is uh, a bike that's used by Australia Post, like mail delivery to people's houses and stuff. It's even still got the Australia Post logo on the side of it. They use these for a while, then they retire them and people like me buy them and use them on your farm. It's, uh, it's 110 cc's of absolutely nothingness. It's, uh, it's not exactly a powerful bike, but it's dead set bulletproof. It's a fantastic bike, always reliable, always starts. And uh, well, when it breaks, it's easy to fix. So we just wait now till it gets dark. Now take some photos of this. With the photos of this, with the uh, Pixel 4 A 5G, all the Pixel phones in astrophotography mode, we're gonna use night mode. Or when it's dark enough, it'll automatically go to astrophotography mode. It's going to, in this sort of environment where it's dark as it's going to be tonight, and it will be dark, this is going to shoot for about four minutes, four minutes, six seconds, I think it does. And uh, then we're going to take two photos, one focusing on the stars, one focusing on the motorcycle, and that's how we end up with multiple exposures, multiple focus points, and it ends up being a ripper photo. Works for any situation at all. Well, I hope it works with a pixel. I reckon it will. We'll see how we go. Once it's dark, it can be a little bit confusing. If you haven't been out and doing this sort of photography on a regular sort of basis, it can be a little bit disorientating. So when you set up in the daytime, if you have to move things again, well, that's all great. But uh, you basically go through the same principles with the photo pills to find where the Milky Way is, position the subject where you want it. And when it comes to the camera, all you do is use a torch. So this one here is a Wubin torch and it's a it's a uh, adjustable brightness torch, so you turn it on and it can get quite bright and quite dim as well. 
and we use the dimmer setting first and basically I'm going to set the camera up here the camera set up and I'm just going to adjust the camera move the tripod a little so that I'm shining the light on the motorcycle and you can see there it's actually in the frame now of the photo and that is all I need to do now that we've got the shot framed up it's as simple as turning the camera on it'll tell you night mode is available use night mode when you go into night mode all you need to do is touch it it says astrophotography mode is on that's because it's dark enough and if it's not dark enough you won't get that option all I do then is touch on the sky that will focus on the stars hit the shutter button and we're taking the photo this here is going to take four minutes and six seconds it's a long time now we just sit here and wait and look at the stars so the first photo is done now and we need another one we need one with the motorbike with some light painting on it the important thing here is not to move the uh, tripod at all you can't move it at all it needs to be exactly the same spot we're taking exactly the same photo but this time we're focusing on the motorcycle not on the stars so it's a matter of going in it still says astrophotography mode and hit the shutter button and while that's taking the photo now we're going to use the torch to light paint the bike just a little bit this much that's it finished we wait now for four minutes well it's three minutes and 40 seconds or almost and uh, we'll have a look at these photos all right I've taken all the photos now I've taken four photos I screwed one up I bumped the bloody tripod and so I've taken five photos and these photos take four minutes and six seconds each so I've been out here a long time and it's bloody well freezing at the moment I'm, I'm freezing my nuts off we're going to uh, go inside we're going to put the oh, we're going to leave the photos on the phone we don't need to take them off we're going to open up Snapseed we're going to use a double exposure tool to bring these photos together we've done this before with other phones never done it with the pixel from what I've seen already with these photos that I've just taken they're pretty freaking good we're not going to need to do much editing to this at all um, and you'll see why it was just so important not to move the tripod between the photos that I've taken let's get out of here I'm bloody freezing now that we're in out of the cold we'll open up this image first in Snapseed and we're going to adjust this one to see what the call looks like we'll use the accentuate looks there first go into tools then into tune image we'll increase the brightness the contrast and the ambience a little bit we'll look at the highlights and we'll drop that down a little bit I quite like how that looks let's go into white balance now yeah that doesn't look too bad like that but it is a bit cold out there last night so yeah, we'll leave it down a little bit and re reduce the uh, white balance and increase the tint a little bit as well let's go down to double image double exposure and we'll bring that second photo in the one where we've painted the bike there it is there and that is why we don't move the tripod wonder how well these stars lined up this will be really interesting <laughs> that's that's really impressive the uh, AI that does the astrophotography in this phone is pretty incredible the f stars all line up that's that's awesome so we'll do some overall adjusting here the ambience we're looking at both things here the back photo and the foreground photo the shadows will reduce it oh that's that's good I like that we'll reduce those shadows like that I really like that I wonder if we can expand this one let's try this expanding it may work it may not I suspect it won't work really well because the bike is so close to the edge probably on the rock yeah, it's not going to work very well at all over on the left there it's not much good bring it back a little bit I don't like the composition of that now I really want it in the center I'll just get rid of that I'm happy with that let's export it let's have a look at the photo so we've brought these two photos together in Snapseed with the double exposure over the top of each other and the stars have lined up really really well here's the after all photo and I think that looks pretty good that's it for today guys I'll see you next week catch you later